Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've done a planner uh, video so I thought I would do a quick video on the planner that I'm currently using. This is a Franklin Covey, uh, actually a vinyl binder. It's from their economy line. It's the one that you can easily pick up at Office Max, Office Depot, and it comes with inserts. The ring size on the one that you can find in the stores is one inch, but I have upgraded my rings to a 1.25 inch. Um, it's just real basic. You can get it in black or maroon. I have the black one, and it's just got white contrast stitching. Some people don't like that, but I actually really like the contrast stitching. It is a magnetic um, clasp. Not really, really strong, but as you can see, I've got this overstuffed, and it does keep mine closed. Um, I have done a few modifications to mine. Uh, one of the things that I do here is I use this as a wallet and a planner. I've got my ID here, but when I am in a store paying for something, I don't want everybody that's in line to necessarily see my information, so I've just got it covered up with a post-it note. Over here is an emergency contact info card that I've laminated, and I slide in um, sideways. It's a, a long one, so you, can't, you can fit it in here, but it will stick up like the cards do. Uh, I've got uh, post-it notes here for quick, don't forget that I can stick on something I keep receipts back behind this secretarial pocket. There is a zip pocket here. Behind that, a gusseted pocket in my zip. I keep uh, some change. I actually keep uh, my emergency um, allergy medication in there, just a couple pills and ibuprofen. This is just a little spiral tablet that I keep and that is for um, grocery lists or anything like that. That way I can just take it out of the planner when I'm in the store. Behind that uh, I've got a little um, pocket that I made that's actually got any current coupons that I'm going to use or gift cards because it's, they're basically the same as cash so I like to keep it in there. If I have cash I would keep it in this uh, section. I rarely have cash though. This is um, just something that I normally would have in my rings, but I have the rings too full, so I just slide it in here. This planner only has one pen loop, which is over on this side, which is half elastic and half vinyl. So I took a um, I took a pen holder out of a Filofax. Flex A5. I cut it down. I punched it so I can put it in the rings if I ever want to, but I just slide it in there so that I can use it. Um, the only cards that I actually keep on this side is my driver's license, a couple of business cards that I can hand out, and my insurance information. On this side, this is an insert that is from Franklin Cubby. They no longer make these, but this is leather. There's other options out there that you can use um, to do something similar but this has my uh, debit card, cur current cards that I use. Over on this side is a zip pocket, and then I've got a couple of cards in there that I do not use. Um, this is the starting of my uh, planner. My sections are, let's see if you can read it very well. Probably not, because you've got some glare. Uh, notes, faith, family, blog, money, plans, and then back behind the planning section, I just have this little owl tab, which this isn't like an A to Z filing section, but these tabs right here are for contact information. I don't do my contacts alphabetically. I put them in by type. So medical is all the doctors, dentist, hospital, etc. Family is all my family contacts. Miscellaneous is everything else. School is like the bus garage, the different schools, etc. This tab here is for a planner group that I run. It's a um, secret sister type of thing, so 
I've got all of their information here. And then these are just various accounts, and I can flip that because you won't be able to see it. I did one of these fold-over pages, so it's not easy for people to see. Um, this is a pocket that I created out of. It's actually an 8.5 by 11 that I just cut down, washi taped. And I the reason I wanted it is because I wanted the full width of a Franklin Covey compact page so that if I had extra pages, I could just slide them in there without having to worry about trimming the rings. This planner comes with a pocket in the back to slide in a tablet. I Sometimes I use a tablet, sometimes I don't. I've just got various information and whatnot tucked in there. So anyway, moving on. Note section, that's just going to be anything that's about me. I've got a wish list that I want to get someday. Just scribbled out notes next section is faith. I have um, some prayer cards in here. I've got the I got a business card for my pastor at my church and then I just go into um, scripture that I like, some prayers, whatever Bible study I happen to be doing. I'll just have like a brief overview. I have a separate binder for actual um, Bible study. So this is just like an on-the-go type of thing. A um, couple more printouts that I made. And then I've got actual um, prayers in here that I want to remember to do, like prayers for marriage, prayers for me as a wife, prayers for me as a mom. Um, like I said, this is just like a satellite to my main planner. My next section is family. In here I've got laminated photos, just a, you know, a few odds and ends. The next page is um, something that, there's nothing on here that matters if you see. It is a um, tracker that Franklin Covey puts out. I've just turned it into important dates and sizes. So close family members, I've got names, birthdays, anniversaries, and whatever sizes. Then I go into, I've got a page for my husband, a page for my two daughters, a page for my son and his wife. And that will also have a, just a little bit more detailed information, whether they collect anything, wants, likes, what's currently going on at their schools. Just a, a quick reference, you know, medications that they're currently taking. The next section is for my Sparkle Frogs. Um, it says blog. I actually have a YouTube. You are, you're watching it, so you know I have a YouTube. I just couldn't fit Sparkle Flo Frogs in here, so... I just labeled it blog. It has um, ideas. I just keep an ongoing running list of different ideas that I either want to do a blog post or a video, and when I actually upload it, I put the date in. And then this is just a grid page. My idea is to put in all the months so that within each month I can track the stats. My next tab is money. Um, I have my monthly bills listed out here the reoccurring payment ones which I'm not going to show you but what I do is each month I make a little check mark or date that they come out it's just kind of so I can keep track of um, where my money's going and what paydays it's coming out of then I also actually keep my check register in here too the next section is plans this is just um, something that I laminated and then left the top clear and then added these little letters so that I could have a top tab for the plans so that when I'm looking at it from the top I can easily see where I'm at and flip right to that section. These are my um, words that I've chose to focus on for this year, peace and joy, and then the scripture that I've decided to focus on for the year, Proverbs 3 uh, verse 5-6. Then I've got a special dates, which is primarily birthday. I go into annual and semi-annual tasks and chores, uh, daily uh, type of chores. And then behind that is a pantry, like a stock list. And then this is my uh, task sheet, which is a master task sheet. Various things that I want to get done at some point this year, 
none of them are really time driven so when I'm planning I will look at this sheet first and see if there's anything that I'm able to get done that month so I've got several pages there and just a anniversary gift list by year and then we launch into the uh, monthly pages I am using um, monthly pages that came with an undated planner and I really like them because the squares were a little bit bigger there's not lines on it it's not it's easy to see and um, when I'm doing my planning all my months are already filled out with everything that I know and it's there's not really any detail other than it's got the the major holidays whether there's work or school that day stuff like that the detail is always done in the daily pages um, behind each month I have a task sheet and it's broke out by personal household financial and that would be a task sheet for that month behind that then I've also got school and business which is my blog uh, in one of my groups I have a photo a day challenge that I'm hosting so I keep track of when I post the topic and whether or not I posted pictures and then these are I'm not sure how much personal information there is on these but I use a day on one page right now I will switch back and forth sometimes I like two pages and I'll switch it out but for right now I'm just using a day on one page so this is um, yesterday's and today's this is yesterday's I uh, check off do a forward arrow if I need to move it forward to the next day this little spot up here will either be holidays or something that I want to keep track of for that day. This is my daily stuff, things that I do every single day. I just check those off and then an abbreviated schedule. Um, I just do a 9 to 5, pretty much the work schedule because that's when appointments will be and then I've got a blank spot after 5 and a blank spot before 9 in case there's any early morning or late evening stuff that I need to do. I've got the weekly compass card. I've got my weekly compass card. Sorry about that. I just had to take a quick drink. My throat was getting dry. And I, I do it the way that um, Franklin Covey recommends. So on the front side, I've got my various things that I want to do that will um, move me towards the goals that I've set for the year. And then on the other side is tasks for the week. And what I do is I write down all my tasks that I've got for the week. And then as I schedule them in each day, I mark them off here as well. Uh, my decorating, I don't do that that much. Sometimes I don't do any. I mean, you can see some of these pages back here. You know, no decorating. Anyway, I am able to have every month for this year and using the daily pages I am able to have three months worth of daily pages I briefly talked about my accounts here um, these are the contact sheets medical family miscellaneous school and planner sister secret secret planner sister I use a Franklin Covey page lifter behind this but in front of this pocket because there's a little calculator in there and it's kind of bumpy I don't care if this wraps around and then my second pen loop. That is pretty much it. If you have any questions on anything specific in this planner, uh, please leave them in a comment and I will do the best that I can to answer them. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this and I will be making more videos this year on a more regular basis. So stay tuned for those like this video and subscribe please. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.